Germany's largest mosque allowed to broadcast the call to prayer. So this is very controversial. It's next Muslim Ooh, circles. I'm against this. The Cologne Central Mosque, Germany's largest mosque, allow along with 34 other mosques, have been permitted by the city of Cologne to broadcast the call to prayer, known as the Azan, every Friday afternoon from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. This decision is a part of the agreement with the city to ease restrictions on the Muslim community. The mosques will be required to inform their neighbors before they begin to broadcast the Azan and have limits to the volume of their speakers. The agreement received mixed reactions. Henriette Riker, Cologne's mayor, posted that the mosque's call to prayer will, will join Cologne's cathedral's bells. Permitting the, quote, permitting the Muslim call for me as a sign of respect, Riker said, adding, quote, it shows that diversity is appreciated and lived in uh, Cologne. Cologne became the first major city in Germany to broadcast the Muslim call to prayer. Okay, what the hell is this? What's, what, what is the argument for this? You can't, you know, we fight for religious freedom and people's freedom to practice their religion all the time but this is not it you don't have a right to impose your religion on other people you how is this uh, so you're saying they can inform the people before they play this call to prayer as on so can they ask, based yes. on the reporting of this it's not entirely clear it was just like that they have to inform their neighbors that they're going to be doing this i don't know if that means they have to inform them every single friday that they're going to do this or okay. just once like this is something doesn't that matter it doesn't matter because it doesn't say they have to ask permission it says they have to inform them like what if you yeah. don't want to hear it you don't get you shouldn't be able to force people see you you have the right to practice your religion you have the pro uh, right to you know promote your religion but you ha you should not have the right to force your religion on people who don't want to be exposed to your religion. This is not freedom. This is actually the opposite of freedom. What well, about the right of the people who don't want to be exposed to your call to prayer? Um, they would presumably argue that this is a privilege that is already afforded to other groups. Like, would you have the same problem with? cologne's cathedral and their bells going off if people complain about it, are people against it i don't know if if people are saying you this is you it's the same thing your... okay then this if the solution okay if we if it is between keeping the bells and also adding adding the add-on or not adding the add-on and removing the bells i will go for the ladder of course i will go for the ladder okay yes no add-on, no bells. Fantastic. Unless everybody likes it. Unless every the entire neighborhood is saying, I, we like the bells, keep the goddamn bells, if, including Muslims. Uh, if they complain, then yes. Because if everybody says that the bells are not religious anymore, it's just a cultural thing, and they all agree, then they could be like, okay, then we get to keep it because it's not a religious thing. But if some people are saying, no, this is actually you forcing your religion, this is for us Christian and you're forcing your religion upon us, then yeah, get rid of it. Why not? Get the get rid of it. Unless get bells that you can't hear outside of the bell, you know, outside of the um, church compounds. You know what I mean? Like you could have an adhan at your mosque, but it's an adhan that you really have to be inside the mosque to be able to hear it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you can't the neighborhood can't hear it. Then that would be well, okay. It's interesting. Um they are only allowed to do this. So uh, for people who don't know, the Azan happens like five times a day, um, starting at sunrise very early. And so people who live um, oftentimes in uh, Muslim majority countries, um, like I have a friend who lives next to a mosque and he complains about it all the time. He freaking hates it. It, wake, it wakes him up constantly. And that would drive me insane. Um, <laughs> So it's yeah. not happening in the morning. It's only happening only on Fridays between noon and 3 p.m. And when they do broadcast it, they're on, it can be no longer than five minutes long. So 
I think it's important to know that there are restrictions on this before, because there are a lot of people like basically fear mongering about this kind of thing. Well, I want to fear monger about this thing. This is obviously oh they're not going to come up. I, they're not obviously. This is the you know. Okay, this might seem like a slippery slope fallacy, but how else would you keep increasing these stuff other than going one step at a time? You know what? It doesn't really even okay. Fine, no fear mongering. It's already bad. This is already wrong. Even if it's not five times a day and you know every day five times a day, you are already setting a precedent for Islam being imposed on non-Muslims in a European country. Like this is or this is now normalization of you having to be exposed. To religious dogma, even if you don't wish it. Again, I am for freedom. I'm not saying people shouldn't be able to practice their religion. I, I, I think even they should even be able to promote their religion, and people should be able to be exposed to religious content if they wish it. Okay, if somebody is not a Muslim, I'm like, hey, I actually want to be exposed to Islam and learn about it and hear that thought. They should be able to have that option, but you shouldn't be able to do that to people who don't want it. This is like. This is the enforcement of religion upon people endorsed by the government. How is this a thing? This is, okay, this is not a, I, I don't think this is a slippery slope if I say that this is going to open the door to a lot more, okay? It could be a slippery slope fallacy, but I think it's not. I think this is, this is an excuse to open the door to a lot more, but go ahead. Some people would say that this is the assimilation of Germany's largest religious minority. And they are receiving the same recognition that the majority does, aka Christians, with you their know, church. No, bells. you know how yes, you know how do do you know how you elevate the community and show them that they're welcome as Germans, okay? By when they complain about the bells, you like, okay, we're gonna get rid of the bells, okay? If you want to make the Muslim, <laughs> if you okay, if you want to make Muslims feel like part of Germany and welcome them as Germans, not as second class citizens. Okay, tell them because of you, we're getting rid of the bells. You're welcome. Welcome, you know, our fellow citizens. Okay, you did this. We're doing this for you. I feel like people who fear monger about multiculturalism would still like latch onto that in a major way as well. Let them look, cry look about at it. them. They're taking oh. away our bells. Okay, good. It, that would be that. That would be the funny far right reaction, you know, that I would be like, I would be joining the Muslims and pointing at them and laughing. Okay. That would be a fear that would not be justified. Oh my God, we're taking your bells away. Boo hoo. Great. The, the influence of religion is being reduced. Okay. Again, join Muslims with taking care, get rid of the bells. Okay. I would be on the same camp of Muslims if we do that. Don't join the Muslims with adding the adhan to the bells. How is, you know, why couldn't Germany do that? Why couldn't it be like, oh, we want to respect our Muslims, so we're getting rid of the bells because they shouldn't be exposed to Christianity if they don't want to. Wouldn't that be a e secular and easier way to show that you care for your Muslim citizens? Wouldn't that be an easier way? Wouldn't that have been the solution? That would have been the great solution. And like, it's yeah, you couldn't like... Yeah, I, you couldn't yes. accuse the government of being Islamophobic if they're doing that, you know, if they're listening to the Muslims by getting rid of the bells. So I remember during the uh, lockdown, uh, obviously there's been a lot of controversy and contention and debate around how religious communities will be able to meet and celebrate and congregate. And I think it was a city in Canada that started playing the Azan during uh, the lockdown as kind of a concession to the Muslim community. And this upset a lot of people uh, who had similar uh, criticisms as you saying that, what do you want to bet after lockdown this remains? Um, and I, I can't remember if something similar happened in Germany, if there was a similar concession where mosques were allowed to broadcast the call to prayer, given the circun certain circumstances of 
you know, being forced to stay home and shelter in place as a contention to the minority religious community. And um, I can't remember if this then stayed afterwards, um, because if it did, then that would give some um, credence to what you're saying. Well, yeah, what, what gives credence to what I'm saying is the fact that I'm saying it. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> do, <laughs> do you think, can they send email or text message? Or Guys, they already have all the notifications. They already have that. In the modern world, you don't need like somebody screaming at the, you know, at, in the mosque. Or, you can like, have an app do it for you. They, they already have so many apps. Guys, there's nobody missing the time to prayer. They are, they have the most accurate, like atomic, like, the every like precisely the time like the, it has never been more accurate in the is, history of islam you, you have never had all the more tools to know exactly when you need to pray okay so and exactly never, what direction to pray in yes yes in fact yeah so the, none of this is just you know cultural you know it's cultural attack you know this is like a, oh, this whoa. is yeah well okay, actually never mind i shouldn't use the word attack because people yeah. think attack me yeah now, a cultural mm, guys. If I say cultural battle or attack, I'm not actually. I'm not doing. Yeah, I shouldn't use the far right uses these words just to yeah. make it seem. To, yeah. Okay. So I take that back. It's uh, imposing your is imposing. Okay. Okay. You guys know whatever. It's wrong. It's 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 bad. Okay. It's wrong. Okay. You shouldn't force your culture. And your way of life and your values upon other people. Okay, I'm. I don't want to use fighting words to. So the way far right does is a way to suggest that this is going to lead into some. I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, but there was another say. Uh, yeah, somebody says, did Armin just say he will join the Muslims? I already joined Muslims. When, if if in their fight against, I don't know, China's oppression, okay? I join, I can join Hindus, I could join Muslims, I could join Christians, I could join Jewish people in common causes. Of course I can join them, okay? Again, if Muslims, for example, are saying church bills is you forcing your religion upon us, this is supposed to be a secular country, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, they're right. I would join them in that fight, okay? And I would join Christians if they say you you playing out the azan is you forcing your religion upon us, then I would join the Christians. And I'm like, yes, I'm joining the Christians in the fight for secularism. Of course, I can join Muslims. I have no problem jo joining everybody, anybody in common causes, right? Like I could join religious, I could join Christians, Muslims, and Jews in their fight against the CCP um, when it comes to oppression against religious people. I have no problem joining religious people. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Adam saying it was a joke, Armin. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to highlight it anyways because it's a good excuse for me to... The guys, ch they tell me to chill, okay? Even if you're joking, I'm going to highlight your comments and I'm going to do my rant anyways, okay? So you chill, you chill. Okay, so Nike is saying, bells sound better than Adon. I also used to think so. However, if you don't hear the Adon... Five times a day, especially in the morning when you're trying to sleep, if you hear it for the first time, you know, from a distance, in, when the sun is setting, it could actually sound pretty, okay? The reason why we have this negative gut reaction to it is because Islam sucks. Islam is cringe. And then we associate every time we hear the Adhan as ex-Muslims, we're like, ew, gross Islam, okay? But I can see... The people who are not hearing it all the time, especially the worst time of the day when you're trying to sleep, if you hear it over the distance in a sunset, I could see why it could sound like a very mesmerizing, you know, meditative sound. And from you know, I could see why there's a, why it would be beautiful. But yeah, yeah, play that five, play that five times a day, and it's going to be disgusting, right? You know, yeah, Muslims, you're true. ruining. Yeah, it's Muslims funny. You true. can see. Um compilation videos online i've watched so many of them of non-muslims usually like christians um reacting to the azan and like breaking down crying um yeah. this is like a whole genre on youtube of oh yeah like, white, white crying white, over no it wasn't it wasn't white okay woman. 
I know, but I'm saying that there are a lot of Muslims, men, who masturbate over well, white women crying to their Zod. Okay. Okay. White um, woman, <laughs> white women become white women being interested in anything Islamic turns a lot of Muslim men on. Okay. Okay. I, I know that for a fact. For a fact. I know that from experience. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Actually, this is why Susanna is interested in Shia Islam. She's trying to lure in Muslim men. <laughs> She's trying. <laughs> this is I know. This is this is atheistic taqiyya. This is atheistic taqiyya. This is her this is part. atheist love jihad. <laughs> this is atheist love jihad. She's like, I'm white. I'm interested in Islam and Muslim men. Like <gasps> Susanna. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, there were some tweets here. Oh, yeah. So these are people. Well, I mean, if you go to the actual, if you click on it and go to Twitter, you can see the translation because these are all in German. Oh, never mind that. Never mind. Um, but there are people um, giving backlash to the mayor who said that this is like beautifully shows the diversity of Cologne. Um, and they were, uh, yeah, not too happy with her. Okay. Let's go to the next news. All right, can we clap for the next news? Um, yes, because I think this is patently absurd. Oh, Wait. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great job, I was saying. It's a Susanna trap. This is how she stalks her dungeon. <laughs> do you, Susanna, do you have Muslim men tied up in your dungeon? No. I wish no, I had a dungeon. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below, because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe link in the description below.